Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can save your car configuration. So when you build your car you can drive somewhere, then press the save button and when you restart the game you have the exact same position and the car that you built. Great! So let's go! First of all we need a blueprint structure to save the car configuration. So right click, blueprint, structure and let's call this car underscore structure. Open this up. This gets an actor class reference. And now we need all the car parts. So in this case we start with wheel underscore fl. Then we add some more variables for all the other parts. So I skip the process. Of course you can add more car parts if you want. Very important, the last part is the body part. This is a real vehicle pawn class reference, very important. So we save this one and close this. Next we need a game save. So right click, blueprint class and search for game save. So a save game object, we select and call this game underscore save, open this up as well. So this is our file later where we save our game. We need two variables inside here, the spawn location. This will be a transform. And the second one is the car itself. And for this we use our car structure that we created. When we now compile and save this, you can see we can put now the car configuration right here, but of course we want to set it later. So we can close this as well. Next we need a game instance, so right click, blueprint class, game instance, and let's call this my instance. Very important, we go to settings, project settings, maps and modes and under game instance we have the game instance class and set our my instance right here. So the instance is to save the configuration over the whole game even when we change the level. Let's open this up here. First of all we need a custom event so add custom event and let's call this save car. This gets one input in this case the current car as an actor object reference. Then we say does save game exist and we call this game save one. Of course you can call it whatever you want. Then we need a branch to ask on true we want to load game from slot and we just copy and paste the slot name very important to keep this slot name then we cast to our game save that we created on false we want to create a save game object in this case our game save now we need a variable called game save as a save game object and we want to set it up here and down here as well. Then we go from our current car and calls to our parent class. In my case it's the firebird from the last tutorial, of course links in description. If you have a different one you connect this as well and then we go from the firebird and get all the car parts. Then we get the class of every car part and as well of the Firebird itself. Then we take out the game save, cause to the game save. And then we want to set the car. We say right click split structure pin and now we have to set the car parts to the configuration here. Like that and then we go from the firebird 
get the actor transform. We go from the game save and want to set the spawn location. Connect it. And at the end, we just say save game to slot. Connect the save game object to the save game object. And the slot name just from here, copy and paste back here. Now we need another custom event, of course, for the load car. We do the same thing, does save game exist, copy and paste the slot name, we need the branch to ask. On true, we load game from slot, copy and paste. Then we want to set the game save object right here. We need to cast to the game save. Then we get the car. Right click, split structure pin. So we have all the car parts here. We say get spawn location as well. Right click, split structure pin. Then we go from the car body and say spawn AI from class. Very important, spawn AI from class, not actor from class. Then we connect the location and the rotation and check the no collision fail to true. Then we go from the first car part here and say make array. Add some pins here and connect all the other car parts here. Like that. Then we go from the array and say for each loop, connect it. Then we say spawn actor from class because now we want to spawn an actor, connect the array element here, right click, split structure pin, connect the location and the rotation as well. Then we want to cast to our car part. Then we want to get the part, this one here, and set the simulate physics to false, otherwise we have collision problems. Then we need a new variable called car sockets this will be a name as an array and now we just need to add up all the sockets that we have on our car let's go back to our main car our firebird from the last tutorial as you can see we switch the name on the socket so we just need to add up all these sockets to our variable like that they need to match exactly the socket names otherwise it will not work so we compile and save this and pull this out here. We get a copy, connect the array index to the copy here. And then we just call the interact message. The target is of course the return value of the spawn AI from class. The actor is the car part and the socket is the car socket. Then we need a delay of 0.2 seconds. Then we get the player controller. Want to pulses, in this case the AI, so back to here. We get the enhanced input local player subsystem. Want to clear all the mappings and just add the mapping context. In this case, the vehicle template input. Compile and save this. So what we do here is we check, does the save game exist? If it does, we load it. Then we get the car and the location from the save game object. We spawn our car, in this case the AI, so the Firebird. We get all the car parts here. We spawn all car parts. Then we basically set the simulate physics to false, so we don't have collision problems. Then we call our interact, so basically the same thing as we put the wheel on the car, for example. 
So we do this automatically in the interact here. We need a 0.2 seconds delay, otherwise we can't process the call. The last part is of course to call the function save and load. So we open up our Firebird and then we just go down here. Let's choose the L key for example. Of course you can choose whatever you want. Then we get the game instance calls to our my instance and just call the save car function. Need a reference to self as the current car and that's it. Then we open up the level blueprint here, do the same thing. So we have the begin play event, get the game instance, cars to our my instance and call the load car function. Great, compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play. We can configure our car here. Get in. Then we drive up the road here next to the sign, for example, and press L. Then we close the game and restart it. And here we are. We have our car configuration. We are next to the sign. Great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.